we have solved this example in the video and uh, we found that the error in case of uh, power difference is 58.9 percent error in case of uh, backward difference is 39.7 percent and error in this uh, central difference method was uh, 9.6 percent for the particular example here note that we have step size is equal to 0 0.5 so we will try the same example same function uh, on the same initial point x is equal to 0 0.5 with the step size is equal to 0 0.25 which is the half of the length as compared to the previous example and now we would like to see what difference it makes to the calculation and uh, how it affects the error so let's start So our function is given here, which is uh, minus 0 0.1 x power 4 minus 0 0.15 x power 3 minus 0 0.5 x square minus 0 0.25 x plus 1.2. So we need to calculate the first derivative at x i, x i is 0 0.5, h is equal to 0 0.25. To calculate the error, we must know the exact value and uh, for the exact value, we need to calculate the derivative of the function which is given. So, uh, derivative of the function is minus 0 0.4 x cube minus 0 0.45 x square minus x minus 0 0.25. It is very simple because it's the polynomial and our uh, answer was minus 0 0.9125 now we want to calculate the derivative in case of backward difference in case of forward difference and in case of central difference so for uh, forward difference we know that uh, formula to calculate the first derivative at point i here you know that we are using uh, f of x i equal to uh, f of i so it will be using some previous value uh, some forward value future value minus present value and divided by h so by this forward value i mean f of i plus one i mean f of x i plus one so for backward difference I need to calculate f dash of i, which is equal to f of i minus some value, which is previous value. And right, so f of i minus one is equal to f of x i minus one. So how to calculate x i? plus minus one it is equal to x i plus minus h so if i want to get some future value i need to calculate f i plus one and it is obtained as x plus h and to get some back value from some previous value i need to subtract h from x i so this is how i can get x i so the third formula which is central difference formula it is the first derivative at position i includes uses some future value some past value divided by 2h so this is how i can write these values and uh, these formulas i need to know what is x i plus one what is x i minus one and of course function value at that point so i know that x i is equal to 0 0.5 h is equal to 0 0.25 so overall this is equal to 0 0.75 similarly 0 0.5 minus h which is equal to 0 0.25 
overall it is equal to 0 0.25 so what will be my f of i plus h f of i h will be using all these values in in the expression in the function given to us and function given to us is minus 0 0.1 into x which is in this case 0 0.75 power 4 minus 0 0.15 into 0 0.75 power cube minus 0 0.5 into 0 0.75 square minus 0 0.25 into 0 0.75 plus 1 by 2. If I solve this thing, I'm going to get, I, of course, I need to uh, use calculator here and uh, the answer which I'm writing here up to six decimal places is uh, 0 0.6363. So this is my f of i plus h. Similarly, I can calculate f of i minus 1. So I have to use <coughs> 0 0.25 power 4 minus 0 0.15 into 0 0.25 power cube minus 0 0.5 into 0 0.25 into square minus 0 0.25 into 0 0.25 plus 1 by 2 and in this case if I use the calculator I'm going to get 1.103516 and from the example uh, in the video we know that f of i and the value f of i was equal to 0 0.925 as we already know this value so these are the value which i am going to use in the different formulas first of all i am going to use these values in the central difference formula so for the central difference formula uh, i need this value and this value so first derivative using central difference formula is 0 0.63 6328 minus 0. 925 divided by 0 0.25 which is the value of h so <clears throat> by using these values i can calculate the derivative and uh, similarly this was due to forward difference now i can calculate the same thing with backward difference and the formula for the backward difference is given here so for that i need to use this value and this value so 0 0.925 minus 1.103516 divided by 0 0.25 and again i need to calculate the central difference for the central difference the formula is shown here that you need to use the future value this is central difference you need to have future value minus 
the past value. So you need to have six three six three two eight minus one point one zero three five one six divided by two h two into zero point two five. So what will be the answer in this case? So we need to calculate them on the calculator. After simple calculation, we can get the values. And this is for the power difference, which is minus 1.154688. For the backward difference, it is minus 0 0.7140. Three and for the central difference, it is minus zero point nine three four three eight. So these are the values, and uh, by using mm, the exact value which we have calculated already, we can calculate the error relative error in each of the case for forward difference we know that uh, at the exact value in each case was minus 0 0.9125 and the approximated value is minus 1.154688 we can take the magnitude value and divide it by minus 0 0.9125 into 100 and the answer is approximately 26.54 percent error so in case of backward difference we have the same exact value 125 minus the calculated value minus 0 0.714063 divided by the true value minus 0 0.1925 into 100 and in this case uh, the calculation shows us the answer is 21.75 percent and <clears throat> for the final case we have the value for the central difference this value is exact value is same for all approximated value for different formulas is different so we are just plugging these value here and calculation or just adding and multiplying on the cal calculator to get the answer and in this case the answer is 2.4 percent so these are the results in this case we can see that all the procedure that initially we have the values we are given with the function we can calculate so we can calculate the values of the derivative exact value of the derivative which we will be using for the relative error then forward difference backward difference and central difference formulas and uh, then the data required for these formulas and then we just plug those things into the derivative formulas for forward backward and the central difference to calculate the result and then at the end we calculated the error and uh, we can compare these errors with the one we have got in the class so one interesting way of uh, doing all these calculations is uh, doing them on uh, 
on the Excel. It is very easy. Uh, if you can use it, then it will be convenient. I have the value of Xi, I can write the value of H, and then simply the formula is written here, which uh, you can see that this is the formula minus 0 0.1 into the B column. You can see that B is here, B power 4 minus 0 0.15 into, here you can see the B2 is our X, so X cube minus 0 0.5, X square minus 0 0.25 into X, and then plus 1.2. So I can get the value of the derivative. I know the true value of our result is this. So I can get, uh, xi plus 1 simply adding these two terms and then I can calculate the function value because I have written the function here I can use it to get the value I, I found the xi minus 1 and then the function value at in there and then calculated the forward difference just by using mm, e2 means the far, uh, future value c2 means the current value and a2 is in this h just dividing by h and in this case the error was uh, here i'm i can ignore the minus sign and error was 26.5 mm, backward difference i have to use uh, g2 g2 means um, backward value uh, future uh, previous value and uh, c2 means current value so a2 is just uh, <clears throat> the step size and i can use it to calculate uh, the error as well error formula you can see that true value minus the calculated value into 100 divided by true value it is the same formula which is written here so then the central difference and then this thing an error in this case and we know that we have computed all these things for h is equal to 0 0.5 and here we can compare the error when the step size is small when the step size is small the error is small and one more thing when the step size is half the error reduces to almost one fourth of the value here whereas almost one half of the value here so that's all from my side so I can solve this example and get the result thank you very much